Now that we're seated, all you gotta do is grab the teat with your thumb and forefinger. And pull? No, 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 don't pull. Just sort of rhythmically squeeze with the rest of your finger. Hey, yo, what the... What's going on, Last Lifers? You already know who it is. What it do, YouTube? It is your boy, B to the R. Doing, these aren't my hand motions. This is what I do. What am I doing sign language for? This ain't even a sign language for B. It's this. This is D. This is not a sign language at all. This is more of a gang sign. I don't... I, from the top. What's going on, Last Lifers? You already know who it is. What's good, YouTube? It is your boy, B to the R. To the A, to the H, to the V, to the O. Oh, that's when I do that. It's your boy Bravo back with another one. And today, is it this way? We're playing Adios. Adios. You see some? You see them? Get out the way. You see them? Where am I pointing right now? You see these piggies back here? I got a little farm. I'm chilling right now. Okay. Y'all probably like, what in the world is Adios? If y'all don't know what Adios is, Allow me to let you know. Adios is a cinematic first person game about sticking to a complicated decision. You're a pig farmer in Kansas. It's October. Cold, crisp mornings are the norm, and you've decided that you're no longer okay with letting the mob use your pigs to dispose of bodies. Huh? So what you So what you're telling me is We work we working for the mob and they feeding they feeding, uh, they feeding um, people to my piggies. They back there eating people. Hey, I'm ready. <laughs> Is you ready? He's ready. She's ready. We all ready. Is y'all ready back there? Y'all ain't got the scream, bro. It ain't that serious. Y'all ready? Okay, they ready. He ready, she ready, I'm ready. You ready? Then let's get into it. Ooh, Ooh I like how they did that. That's kind of ominous. Okay. I don't really know what to expect out of this. <laughs> we swinging. We, we swinging. Who's pulling up? Oh, I like the animation in this. Okay, let me open the journal. Tell them I'm done. Okay, they want me to like that? The confession. My man, I hey yo, listen. This anymore. What? what? This. What, what? morning? No. All this. Bro. You mean the deal? Afraid so. What do you yeah, mean? Man. You need you better, better pay, pay, different hours? No, nothing like that. I'm just. You know, you know done, done with this. I feel you. Uh huh. Okay. You wanna. I wanna what? Do I wanna. Do I wanna what? Do I wanna do it one more time? I mean. I mean, he's here. I mean, he's here. Am I gonna be disrespectful and just be like, nah, turn around and go back? Yeah. But, Sure. Come on. Here man. you go. So, you, uh, you're done, huh? Yep. You do you understand, understand what that, that means, right? What do you mean? Does it have to mean anything? It doesn't work like that. You know that. Man, yeah, must be getting forgetful of my old age. Uh huh. Nothing I can do to change your mind. Now you are welcome to try. Yeah, let's see what you got, homie. Well, let's, let's go get, get some, some coffee. coffee. Talk things over. Come on. Bro, you are feeding my pigs human flip. Man, I, I wasn't expecting that, but okay. The breakfast. Uh, are those eggs? Mm-mm-mm. Mm -hmm. Smells, Smells delicious, delicious as always. Ah, uh, Sadie was the real cook. Hey, hey, don't, don't sell, sell yourself, yourself short. short. Not, Not much that's better crib? than your home good eggs. Hope you don't mind. I uh, left out the bell peppers this time. Mm, can't, can't stand them. Where's my legs? 
All good. Don't look at it. Can't stand them. Don't talk. My wifey like that, jo bro. Sadie, Sadie always, always liked, liked peppers, peppers, though. So what you got to say now? I put, I put up, up with them. them. Not, Not to change, change the subject, subject but how long have we been, been doing, doing this for, you think? think? Too long. 15, 15 years? Just about. 15 years you've been disposing of bodies for the mob? Bro. And you live in a crib like this? Uh-uh, bro. They ain't breaking you off. They doing you wrong. I see why you want out. Because you know what I'm saying? If, if it was me and I'm disposing of bodies, I better, if for 15 years, I better be living up in the hills somewhere. Gated community. Oh, well, I wouldn't be able to get rid of dead bodies. In a, it better be a big-ass farm. All right? It better be a big-ass farm. That's what I'm saying. Let's, let's, let's keep uh -huh. rolling. Ah. Uh, uh, summer, summer of 78. Oh. All right, so it's 1993. I was nine. Y'all do the math. The grays is coming in, y'all. I can't help it. Why we meet? What was it? Needed cash or Bill was sick. I want to hear about Bill, so we going this way. Bill, Bill was, was sick. And you couldn't, couldn't afford, afford a doctor. doctor. Uh, I'm no, we could not. not. So you needed my help. Bill must have been our kid. You were gods. I'm gonna say Bill's now, my kid. Sadie was the I remember. I had a problem that night, and Jimmy was trying to help me solve that problem. When who should come in through that door but you? Jimmy was always bragging about connections back home. I thought he could help. Okay. Uh, Jimmy knew we could help each other, so he called up Tony. We agreed, made a deal. There's a lot of, there's a lot of names right now, all bro. all agreed. Ugh. Anyone ever, ever tell you you're, you're no, no good, good at making, making coffee? coffee? I, I don't want to make this super soft. Every time you visit. Thought you'd have got it better by now. Well, Sadie made the coffee. I made the bacon. Can I get some pepper on here, bro? This is looking... Uh, it's good bacon. bacon. Give me some pepper, bro. You know, when I was a kid, okay, my fault. I thought pigs were all pink with curly tail. Yorkshire's are. Mine are red. Okay, first thing I'm peeping, like, I I know, I I don't want to bury this game. I don't want to bury this game. Let me, I, I didn't see who made it. I don't want to talk smack. Who made this game? That's all I'm, I'm just going to ask. Who done made this game? Hey, this game got a 9 out of 10 on Steam. If you have never played it, it's out right now. The developer is Mischief. Mischief, I don't want to be disrespectful to you or none of that. You know what I'm saying? But y'all gotta let y'all gotta let the dialogue breathe right now. My man's talking and I'm cutting him off unless that's supposed to happen. I'm gonna just shut up and, and let the game go. How about that? I'm only like I'm 11 minutes in. I'm already talking smack. My bad. My bad. My wow. bad. American breed. Not a lot of them out there, you know. That's so. Mm-hmm. Always, Always thought it'd be nice, you know, to raise pigs that was different. I had some Yorkies way back. Must have been, I don't know, before the service. Mm, long time ago. Yeah, I'm an old man. Are we gonna eat them? <laughs> you and me both. So why the waddles? <laughs> Funny name. Are we gonna eat these eggs? Like I said, American breed. Nearly went extinct. Thought I'd do my part to keep them alive. And that tastes good. You are they wrong. The pigs. You know, right. the other day I was reading the paper. Look at you, an intellectual. <sighs> it, maybe, maybe. Anyway. I wish I could zoom. Oh, I skipped it. I, I didn't want to skip it, y'all. My bad. I read that pigs were smart as us. You believe that? Let me see where he's going. You uh, going, going somewhere, somewhere with this? this? Nah, just. Thinking about my food. What's there so to think that? about? Nothing, I suppose. Just never thought about it before. Do you think the pigs know? Know what? That they're food. Oh, pigs don't think like that. How do you know? Because I know pigs. Pigs ain't like us. Well, sure, they're smart. They eat, they sleep, but they do not plan. They don't think about the future. And I suppose you do? Every man does. I think I'm just about finished up here. What do you say I, um, what do you say I accompany you today? Accompany me? Accompany me where, bro? How do you reckon? 
Uh, my visits are always so short. Figured I could help you out with some chores. Maybe figure out what's going on with your little sports truck in the garage. As long as you're okay with shoveling manure first. What about your sidekick? Protégé. When I retire, he'll be the man you'll be dealing with. Good guy. Smart. Discreet. Mm. Ambitious. Like you, I, like I guess. Guy. My fault, my fault. But, uh, listen. I told you already. I'm quitting. Facts. We'll I'm see. done. We'll see. Bro, I don't like this guy's face. I don't like this guy's face at all, bro. Real talk. Real talk. The way he got that smug look on his face. Yo, pull it up. Pull it up before we get to the next chapter. You see the smug look on homie face? I'm ready to pop him in the nose, bro. Right in the nose. Look at him. Look, look. Let me talk. Let me tell you something. Don't don't turn your head away from me, bro. I'm talking. To you. Why you keep turning your head, bro? Listen, 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 little nigga. You keep you keep looking at me with that stupid mom smile. I'm gonna smack your head off. You know what I mean? Okay, so let me. I was talking smack about the crib. My bad. I mean, the crib's small, but you got a big ass farm, my guy. So I know you do work, bro. But um, yeah, brother. Um, uh, we gotta be done with the mob. I mean, 15 years you. Horseshoes. We finna play? Why horseshoes? Well, why not horseshoes? Doesn't it feel right. stereotypical? Well, look around you. My nearest neighbor lives so half a mile down the road. It ain't the city. We don't have nightclubs and pool halls to go hang out at. Pool halls? What is this, 1890? This is 1992, friend. We got shopping malls for teenagers, restaurants, clubs, whatever. But pool halls? I don't even know if they had those when I was a kid. Uh -huh. Bro, first of all, first of all, first of all, don't disrespect a good pool hall, all right? Back when I was younger, me and my homies used to go to the pool halls all the time and sit out around and have fun. So, And that was in the early 2000s. So what you talking about? I, I'm telling you, this dude, I'm, you hear the voice? This this bro right here, I don't, I don't even remember his name. Did he even give his name? Did he even give his name? I don't like him. I don't like him. I don't like him. I don't like them. Time doesn't pass out here as quickly, I suppose. No need for all that, uh, stimulation. Ah, uh, so you play horseshoes. Mm -hmm. You got a problem with that, bro? Read a good like, book. Develop photos you took for yourself. Go fly fishing. Mm -hmm. It sounds idyllic. Quaint, but idyllic. And you just want to give up this home-cooked paradise? I can't do the other two. It's lonely too. I'm just so tired because I can't hmm. do the others. Hmm. Oh, that's, that's lonely too. Okay, that's cool. cool. I had to get rid of him. Nice in the city. Ah, never yeah, was one for crowds. Your ass. Thought you I said, you said you were lonely. lonely. I'd be just as lonely in a crowd. Sadie, she what's this? uh. What's this? Nobody else could really see me, understand what I was. How do you figure? What the, what the hell? What the hell? After I gotta aim high. Saigon, when I got back, I ain't even listening. All these people were hugging their loved ones or protesting or whatever, and I don't know. I never felt more alone in all my life. I was home. I should have been happy, and I wasn't. Well, it wasn't a popular war. You lost friends too, right? Yeah, but. Uh... Bro, what is cold. this right now? It was dark. And I'm gonna do this. Hiya! There was Sadie. Waiting for me. This game sucks. Poor Talk about the horseshoe. Talk about the horseshoe. Head. And I knew I wasn't alone anymore. Hmm. So you came back to your high school sweetheart. Yeah. I, I thought I, I thought he'd have married her by then. I didn't think she'd wait for me. Why not? You're a handsome guy. Hey, yo, hey, yo, hey. Pause. Let's quote my man Kai Sinat, by the way. Shout out to Kai Sinat, 300k subs on this last subathon. He just finished like two days ago. Enjoy your, enjoy your time off, brother. You went 30 days. It was crazy. Um, C4 that. C4 that. C4 that. Especially back then. Women love a man in uniform. You see that house on the hill? Uh, what, the burned out one? Oh, I can get I closer? I wonder what happened there. Gary Gordon. Wow. Of the Gordon family. Went to high school with us. But, uh, 
Well, most of us were farm folk. Sadie, her dad, was the county judge, so for us, that's pretty high society. Hmm. The Gordons owned a lot of land, and all that passed to Gary after his ma died. In high school, he'd been our quarterback after his pop paid off the school, but I he wasn't a bad athlete. athlete. Good-looking guy? Oh, a real James Dean. And he had eyes for Sadie. The poor farm boy who couldn't play on the team versus the star quarterback. Shit, what kind of contest was that? Where are we going with this? Who wouldn't want all this? <laughs> Man, yet, when I came home, there she was. Where was Gary? He served too? Ah, oh, Gary was too rich to serve. Star quarterback had some health exemption. Didn't get drafted. Oh boy, I uh -huh. said, oh. Uh, so then, we're running his dad's business. You see what I'm saying? Trying to win her heart. It wasn't me. It didn't work. She invited him to the wedding. I didn't want him there, but, well, you know Sadie. Uh huh. Well, the Gordons own most of the property around here, including the 200 acres surrounding that hill. Right. And he built a house. How? Wait, wait, that house? The very it same. Bad over Looks there. like it was a mansion. It was. Why did he build? I, I don't know. See, to remind her what she'd given up, maybe. So, what happened to the wealthy Gary Gordon in his mansion? Well, he built it one year. Must have been 1966 or so, and he went inside and he just disappeared. Then one night, about a year later, there was a storm, and boom, no more like, Gary Gordon. I, let me not do the gesture, but you, I hear boom. I'm thinking, no more. let me Gary stop. Gordon. Let me stop. Huh. Maybe he was lonely, too. Maybe. Oh, <laughs> I won. <laughs> Guess this city slicker still got it. What's bro, next? Shut up. I still don't like you, so keep keep your distance, brother. I'm gonna deal with the car later, bro. Let's go feed the horse. Like, why you even need to be here? There was still meat in that truck, bro. Like, you, why don't, why don't you just go do your thing with the pigs and leave me alone, bro? I'm telling you, I don't like him, bro. The horse. Why do you gotta do it like that? Don't you own a tractor? What? Well, pigs, I get. Goats too. Some fellas have chickens and cows. That's all well and good, but. What's the point of a horse? Horses are God's most beautiful creatures. What's up, what? Horsey? You just keep a horse around because they're beautiful? Horses belong on farms. Uh -huh. You idiot! Like, I, I, I'm really this this dude right here. If this is what uh, I was, like I said, I was eight, eight, ninety-two or ninety-three. I was eight when eight, nine years old when this this era right now. And if this were the adults. The city slicker adults, man. The high, I gotta blur that. I that guy. You, know, you haven't got a saddle for him, so you don't ride him. He's no racehorse. Can't eat him. You know, what's the point? Well, I don't see the point in a farm without a horse. Gotta have a horse. Uh, Her, what's your beef, bro? And what's this about them being beautiful? Beautiful, really. Beautiful, he says. Spindly legs and bloated bellies and those weird, weird teeth. Sleep standing up. Who sleeps standing up? Something wrong Bro. with that. Aren't you going to say something? <laughs> he being disrespectful to the horse right here, bro. Shh, 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 shh. Yeah, don't worry about it, bro. One day. One day, maybe this fella will understand. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Uh, I'm petting him. I mean, I keep apples here because he likes them. Likes the salt lick, too. Want to feed him one? Uh, nah, I'm good. So why are you here? Why are you here, bro? All right, here you go, boy. No, no, I got to get going. Why don't you walk on out to pasture rest a spell? Oof. Horses give me the willies. Can't see why. You just afraid of horses, bro? All right, what's next, bro? I'm not feeling this, dude. I'm telling you. I'm not, bro. Can I run? Oh, yes, I can. Come on, you idiot. Let's go. I'll catch y'all in, in the next objective. Oh, snaps. We had the goats. Matt. What's good, my nigga? <laughs> what? what the? <laughs> what am I? What am I?
am I doing, bro? Let's go to the goat house, bro. The the goat? That's why right, it's the goat! The goat! Is it Michael Jordan? You know, back home they call you the pig farmer. That description is apt. And yeah, you also have goats. I do also have goats. And a horse. And I had a dog. Tried cows once. Bill raised a neuter or something, but uh, when it died. Well, most people have, I don't know, chickens and cows. You got goats. Yo, why is this dude criticizing everything on my farm? First of all, you invited yourself into this situation. So why are you all up in my mother, f mother? F why are you all in my business, man? I'm telling you, I don't like this guy. I don't like homeboy. Hmm. Is that uh, judgment I hear? Word. <laughs> no judgment, no. Uh, just wondering, why goats? Goat why not? Milk. Ah, there can't be much profit in that. Oh, there's enough. Besides, I had you. Have. You still have. As I've said, I'm no longer interested in that particular revenue stream. You heard me before, bro. We're the ones who sever ties. And you don't want us severing ties. What do you mean by that? I believe I made myself clear. You know, you heard me, bro. <laughs> I feel like we've had this conversation a couple of times now, and you still don't seem to get that I'm done with this line is just going to look really silly at the end of the day. You were asking me about goats. <sighs> yeah, goats. I don't like them. They like to play. They'll eat just about anything. The milk's an acquired taste, but I've always liked the cheese. Meat's good with the right curry. That's right. A friend taught me that a while back. And I bet that friend was from the Caribbean. Jamaican, Haitian, Trinidadian, Bayesian. I bet you a million dollars a friend of his was uh, the melanin tone and from the islands telling him, hey, you put that right curry on there. It tastes real nice, you know? So, you like them for the utility? I like them because they're playful. Want to get started? Hmm? Started? Milking. Oh, hey, really? <laughs> I always wanted to try that. Well, here's your chance. My goats are smart. They know what's up, so they'll just walk up. Man, here they are. Man, my girl got some Come udders on. over here. Now, they all just <laughs> take their positions here like they should. Got feet all ready for him. Just uh, you take a seat there. Uh, yeah, not very comfortable. It ain't supposed to be. Mm, suppose not. Well, now that we're seated, all you got to do is grab the teat with your thumb and forefinger. And pull? No, 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 don't pull. Just sort of rhythmically squeeze with the rest of your finger. Hey, yo, what the fuck? Like Bro. This? <laughs> Just like that, yes. All you gotta do it. is do that till the goat's out of milk. Huh. This is kinda nice. I find it relaxing. Well, I think I could get used to this. Mm, why don't you? Say what? Why not get used to this? Why, then come work with you? Sure. <laughs> yeah, some folks might take issue with that. Mm, can't make everybody happy. Better than ending up shot. Shoot him. Hey, hey. <laughs> They're gonna make me do it again, y'all. They're gonna make me do it again. I was not expecting that. <laughs> oh, no. gun down. Life over just like that. It says shoot him. I thought I was about to pull out the piece, and this game was over. This he's man out here slinging milk. Huh? What motion was that, bro? Oh I my god! I usually get to shoot back. Well, we all wind up dead in the end, don't we? I'd rather bro. live as long as possible. What good is that? Living? What good is living if you ain't happy? He says I'm not happy. I'm not. You could be. I don't think I could. Man, this dialogue's well, crazy. Again, I'm not rocking with you, homie. That does it for the goats. Peace out, goats. Peace out, my nigga. Uh, thinking about what I've been saying? I haven't stopped. Changed your mind? No. I'm good, no, gang. I have not. I'm good. Mm -hmm. All right, what next? 
Right on target, because I hit him. That's a that's a yo. Alright, I gotta move the manure and check the shed. Alright, let's get out of here, gang. Oh, whoops. Let's go over here. What's this? The shovel. Okay. Yeah, what if all What's this stuff is little things for? that are telling Hauling. me? Hauling what? Telling me about, like, foreshadow. What am I talking about right now? Hauling what? Manure, bro. What you want to know it as? Manure? Ish. A cow pies. I'm going to be straight up. Shit. Ah, and what are we supposed to do with this crap? We are going to fertilize. Well, not now. It's October, but we're going to put it in a nice big pile where it belongs. Uh, we? Well, you yeah. say you wanted to help? Yeah, guess I did. So help. Pick up that shovel over there. We'll shovel it in, wheel it out, dump it, and we're good. And you do this every day? Mm-hmm. Most every day. And you want to keep doing this every day? It's my routine. Shoveling shit. Someone's got to do it. <laughs> mm-hmm. That, uh... Damn right. That isn't the first time you've told me that. Hmm. I remember. Vietnam. I'm lying. Yeah. You know, I did some digging on you, personally, not the shit kind. Know what I found? I reckon you'll tell me. You went back. Did you? I'm just gonna let out a sigh. What happened that day in the valley? You saw the report. I'm not gonna talk about it. Come on. No. Suit yourself. But you got a medal. You didn't have to go back. Had a wife and kid here. At a time where most of us were trying to figure out how to stay home. You went back. Okay, look at you going somewhere with this? Hmm. Think it'd be fun if you told me why? While we're shoveling shit. I was recon. You know that, I reckon. I was in the hospital, staring at the ceiling. Magazines next to me on the bed. And I... I had this, uh, moment. Moment? A moment of clarity. A revelation? Okay. Uh-huh. And the revelation was this. Them protesters weren't doing a damn thing. The, the hippies and the, the bands weren't changing anything. You know who was? Uh, the Vietnamese? The Russians? No. No, the news. You hit someone hard enough day in, day out with the realities of war, pretty soon they'll tire of it. Yeah. Vietnam, that was our first time that close to war. So, uh, I figured... Uh, you figured? You ain't the only one of us who's killed people. Well, why do you Word. think they offered you that job back in 74? Turned it down for the same reason I went back. They were telling us our patriotic duty was to go and fight for our country. Okay. Well, that's what I did. That's you that military mindset. When you went back, though. Went back with a camera. Talked them into letting me help with the press, keeping them safe and all that. So I did. And I took pictures. Took all the pictures I could. I fought in a different way. Did you win? We pulled out a nam, didn't we? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And now you're here. Great big war hero. Shuffling shit. He gonna stop disrespecting me, bro. We gonna we gonna have to squabble. That's all I'm gonna say. He keep disrespecting me like this. We gonna have to squabble. That's that's just straight up. You know what I'm saying? Shuffling shit. All right, what we got left? This is the only thing left. Check the shed. Okay. Huh. I've always wondered what was in this shack. Happy now. Figured it was just some old shack at first, but every time I asked what was in there, you haven't been forthcoming. I have not, no. Tried to take a look in the window once. <laughs> Did you now? What's in here? Um, oh. Ta-da! <whistles> Beautiful, right? Pop machine. Oh. Here, I figured you had a deep, dark secret. <laughs> we have a deep, dark secret. This here is one of my hobbies. What, Root collecting bear. them? Well, sure, I collect them, I guess, but that's not really the point. Is there a Sparkle. point to any hobby? Uh, depends. Sparkle. What I meant was that it's no fun to just collect them. I, I fix them up. 
That's where the real fun is. Mm, makes sense. You, uh, you got any hobbies yourself? Hmm? Me? Well, well, who else am I talking to? Right? I mean, who doesn't have hobbies? Well, what's yours? Uh, reading, I guess. Reading isn't a hobby. Yeah, of course it's right. a hobby. What do you think libraries are for? Well, everyone reads. Research. Heck, I read the paper every day. But reading isn't a part of your personality. It's just a thing people say they do when they don't have any other hobbies. You really believe that? Mm-hmm. I knew someone who read every single day. She said she loved the smell of books, the texture of the, of the pages on her fingers. She even bound books. Her hobby wasn't reading, it was books. You put too much thought into this. Well, a hobby is something you do because you're passionate about it. If it's something you're not wholly in love with, then you're still trying to figure out what your hobby is. Mm. You got a Yo, listen. My character spits bars. I've been recording for 35 minutes. This man been spitting oh, bars the entire time. No, no, no. You said I guess. No one says I guess when they love something. You see what I'm saying? a requirement for a hobby? Absolutely. Love's a requirement for many things. Oh. Huh. And so you love fixing soda machines. I mean, mm -hmm. disrespectful. That go is again. correct. Why? It relaxes me. I just, I don't know, soda machines. It's an unusual thing for a man to want to fix. Don't people get paid to fix them? It is unusual, but when the missus and I would get into fights or when things was bad or I was anxious, well, I, I don't know. Well, Sadie's sister, when she passed, told me that, uh, told me that it was all right to cry. That it wasn't weakness, that it was okay. And I remember sitting there in that empty living room with everyone murmuring and telling me how. So, like, I'm telling this dude something mad important. How sorry they And look were. at his dumb ass. I didn't feel like I needed to cry. I don't rock with homeboy. I don't. Didn't you miss her? Of course I did. Still do, but I don't know. Not everybody needs to cry. I don't need to cry. I don't get in that way, you know? Weakness? I don't know what she was talking about, weakness. Crying never felt weak to me. That's just not how I am. I can't remember the last time I cried. Maybe that movie about the boy and his dogs? Oh, I always cry over that one. Dogs are good. I want to know what movie they talking about. Let's see they talking about a real movie. Okay, so there were hella movies in the 90s that were about a boy and his dog. But this said dogs. Um, yeah, they probably just made that up. Keep Innocent. it moving. And when a dog dies, that always moves me to tears. Yeah. But Josie insisted. Then she kept insisting. Then, I don't know. I think she got offended I wouldn't cry as if she loved Sadie more than me. That's and she made me feel like I was, that I was something wrong. Of course, that wasn't true. There wasn't nothing wrong with me. I just didn't, I, I didn't, I wasn't like that. It wasn't what I needed. It wasn't how I needed to grieve. This is how I grieve. This right here. When I got a problem, I fix it. And when I fix it, I fix a little part of me. And I don't know how or why, but it's healing. It's a healing thing, and that's why a man's got to have a hobby. Sorry, I... No. No, it's all right. I, I figured, you know. I figured if someone's got to know, this is my quiet little hobby. A thing I do to help me work out my worries. Well, yeah. Looks like you fixed this one up real nice. <laughs> I'm proud of it. Proud of all of them. But I'm proud of this one most. Thank you for taking the time to show me. Here's, a. Uh, there's another reason I wanted to show this to you. Mm, what's that? If you want it, it's yours. <laughs> what am I going to do with the pop machine? Well, grab yourself a nice, refreshing drink of soda every so often, you big dummy. Right? Wait, I, I, mean, I, I, I couldn't possibly. Please. A little memento of our time again. Oh. He sound like, oh, oh, because he's in the mindset like, 
I'm all set. Not no other kind of foreshadowing. Let me chill. Come on, Memento. Let's keep this train rolling. We can work something out. You come on back by, pick up the soda machine. Take it home with you. Or don't. If you really got no use for it, I won't be offended. I'll think it over. What's next? I was gonna get a soda. Are we on the tree? That's a big ass tree, boy. You know what this is? A uh, tree? Well, have you ever seen a tree like it? A tree's a tree. Remember all them roasted chestnuts at Christmas? Ah, oh, sure, sure. I mean, I kind of figure. Been by often enough to see the chestnuts myself. Why? Is it special to you? This is an American chestnut tree. No. Oh, hey, Saul. Hey. He's telling us about his American chestnut tree. American, huh? Thought they all died. What? <laughs> you remembered. Pays to remember things. Like the American chestnut. Hey, um, I, I'm a little lost here. Oh, well, a couple weeks back, Saul came by, said you couldn't make it. Business as usual. Saul had a bucket of chestnuts, asked if pigs could eat them, so we got to talking and I told him about chestnuts. Uh-huh. And what did you learn? Pork tastes better with chestnuts. And most American chestnuts had died off. It's true. Long before you or I was born, the American chestnut was prized for the quality of its wood. Jimmy like that. Oh, that he would, that he would. But this tree, there ain't many like it left. American chestnuts almost all died out because of the Asian fungus around 1900 or so. The chestnut blight. That's... What, like a couple hundred thousand trees? Oh, billions. Four billion trees snuffed out practically overnight. But lumberjacks suddenly out of work in places like West Virginia. Those economies never recovered. Uh, I thought West Virginia was coal country. Logging, too, before it all died off. Now there's trees like the General here making nuts year-round. And I feed them to the Reds, and they grow nice and fat and tasty. Seems... Lonely. Well, it is lonely. Heartbreakingly lonely. To know everyone else you ever loved has passed on. So, I look after him and he looks after me and... I don't know. Sadie and I, we... We talked about being buried here, you know. Changed your mind? Brody's grave was enough for me. Brody? But, uh, I don't know. Okay, 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 okay. So, him, I forgot his name already. Sadie is the wifey. I heard of Bill, and I heard of Brody. Is that all the fam? I, I don't know. What's happening? I moved. I don't, uh. And by the way, I'm rocking with, I'm rocking with homeboy on the right. I'm rocking with homeboy right. Let me point at him. My homeboy, he, he's cool so far. He's cool so far. That's I what I'm saying. Know. You've got plenty of years left in you yet. So, what's the moral of the story? With the, the trees, I mean. Be wary of outsiders. Heck no. There are trees out there that are blight resistant. Maybe even the general here, but I'm too afraid to find out. With enough time and horticultural understanding, we could have done something. Preserved all these trees? Maybe we could have. They are magnificent. It's just... It's just a... I don't know. I wasn't trying to teach you a lesson or anything. I just... But you did make a point of it. I did do that. I just... It's a part of me is all. And God willing to live for a hundred more years. I'm... I don't know. I see myself as a custodian of sorts. Okay. And one day I'm... I just... So I'll go ahead and wait for me at the van. Hmm? Hey. Hey. Look. Look at me. You're thinking about dying. Think. Why, why are you getting so close? I don't like this. I don't like him this close, bro. You can pass this responsibility off to someone else. You don't have to do this. Give the tree another decade of your time. Well, 
the time of my demise aside, someone ought to know about the tree. Jimmy'd love to know about this. Oh, Jimmy would cut it down. Who's Jimmy? He must be the mob boss. He would. Please. He's gotta be the mob boss. Don't tell him. Hey, I'm good at keeping secrets, but Jimmy's Jimmy. Please, let me rest here. And if there's a way, a way to, oh, I don't know. Okay, okay. Hey, you got more to show me, right? Makar, get off me. Like, why he all up on me, bro? What we at, gang? What's next? car right the way the way the garage huh no tour would be complete without the garage i have to ask why a sports truck i think they're called coop utility but uh it's an el it's a el camino bro right right let me google that it's a Looking at the same one right here, bro. It's an El Camino, bro. I mean, why not a sports car? Yeah, I mean, I always figured you'd have a midlife crisis like the rest of us. Sports car, motorcycle, an affair, something like that. Couldn't really say why I love these so much. Saw mine one day, fell in love. With that? Mm hmm I had to bring her home with me. This thing fire. Uh, it. it has a charm to it. But she won't run. No? Well, yeah, pop the hood. Let's, let's take a look. Be serious. Sure. Already had my midlife crisis. <laughs> Motorcycle? Sports car. And these puppies, well, you know, they're similar enough. Some of them even use the same engine. We can figure this out. All right. Pop the hood from the driver's side door. You got it, gang. Now, let's Sure, see. we didn't even have to get in. We didn't even have to get in the car. Can you get me that drop light? My eyes aren't what they were. Oh, that's heat. Where do I hook it up, bro? Sure thing. Thank you. Saul's a good kid. Hmm? What's that? Big block. Saul. Big a block. Good kid. I'm not good. It was nice him coming back. Yeah? That's good to hear. Never met anyone with so much promise. Never? In my entire life. Saul's dad was a good man. Didn't think his kid had it. As a boy, he was too soft. But then he got older. To be college, honest. Really came into his own. Eager. More capable than he knows. Mm. Great listener. Can you believe we were his age once? <laughs> Hard to admit. When I was young, I thought I knew everything. Yeah? And now? Today I learned from you and him about chestnuts. Well, I learned something new every day, I suppose. You check the spark plugs? Mm, give me a second. Yeah, it's a big boy. Uh, what about your boy? Bill? Bill? Okay. Oh, he's fine, I guess. I, I was right there. <laughs> you guess? Yeah, how old is he again? Uh, born in 60, so, uh... 32, as of September. Huh. Roy would have been about his age. Yeah. Roy? Yeah. Well, what's, what's this about you and Bill? Bill? Oh, he don't want to talk to me no more. What? Bill? Toe-headed little guy? Always friendly and outgoing? That Bill? It's, uh, it's about Sadie. Ah. Yeah. Hey, hey mind if I ask you a completely unrelated question? Mm -hmm. What's with the airplanes at your neighbor's place? Oh, Chuck's for Chuck? Huh. Yeah, what's, what's with all the planes? planes? There's no, no runway, runway around here. Uh, you know how farmers are. Hey, have hey, you, you checked the, the air filter? filter? Yeah. And, yeah, I know how you are. You got plenty of junk, too. But I've never seen anyone else with, uh, uh, what are they, World War II bombers or something? I think he has a B-36. No kidding. You got no idea what a B-36 is, have you? Yeah, have the foggiest. So why are you talking like that? This is why I don't rock with this guy, bro. It's a big old bomber made out of magnesium. Biggest America ever had. Took two train tankers to fill one up. And you could fly from Monday to Thursday without refueling. 
so why does Chuck have one in his backyard, plus all the others? I asked him about that once. Hmm. Okay. Wires loose here. You gonna do something? Where? Right there. So, what'd he say? Oh, uh... <laughs> dead navigator came to him in a dream. <laughs> what? Mm-hmm. Dead navigator from the Korean War came to him in a dream, said the planes were in danger of being lost, and it was up to Chuck to save him. So, Chuck's crazy. <laughs> well, eccentric, maybe, but, uh... Well... Do you believe in ghosts? If I did, I'd have a different job. Why, do you? Well, I figure we all move on in some way. Energy is neither created nor lost and all that. So you're saying a dead navigator came to a farmer in the middle of nowhere, no offense, and told him that it was his job to preserve airplanes? Yep. So now there's a bunch of planes on a crazy coot's farm. And he keeps them safe. Can you think of a better place for him to be? Hmm. No. Want to try running it? Okay, I guess he, uh... Sure. All right. Turn over, you saw this. Looks like some oh, years yet. Uh -huh. yeah. hey, um, Remember Slick? Sure. He always wanted one of these. Where is he now? Fighting Saddam. Jimmy tried to find out. Classified Jimmy. Good kid. Angry. Well, maybe when he gets back. Uh, thinking of giving him the car is, what, thanks for his service? I never wanted to be thanked for mine. That boy's seen more hurt than any of us. Deserves better than that old Pinto is. <laughs> yeah. Well, where to then? i turn this off. We're just moving on to the next scene. I like that, how we just seen the scene. I feel like I'm watching a movie. Shotguns, huh? I always liked shotguns. Blanked? Still do. I like revolvers myself. When it's for sport. Got a few of those. Oh, yeah? What's, What's your favorite? favorite? Them big slab-sided ones. They have a, a charisma. Oh, what about you? Should I just pop him right special, now? special, really. I, t I said I ain't like them the entire time. So I feel like, you see how I'm sitting up in my chair? I feel like now's the right time to get the clapping. 357's when I can. But this is a shotgun. Yep. Figured we could shoot some skeet. Always liked shooting skeet. Taught Bill to shoot this way. I, I kind of like, I kind of like shooting skeets too. Where's the grid chat? They see you over here. I like you. I'm going to hell. I'm going to hell, y'all. Oh. father. Couldn't have been better. Name a father that couldn't. So, how do we do this? Uh, who's going first? You can go first. There you go, brother. All right, then. Hmm. This is more my speed. Hanging out, shooting guns. Maybe a few beers next time. I'm not sure guns and beers mix, friend. Right? Oh, sure they do. Like peanut butter and very dangerous chocolate. Next time. Trust me, next time. Why don't I just hand him the shotgun? Next time? Oh, there's always a next time. This is it. After today, we are done. I know you heard him. I'm trying to tell you, I keep trying to tell you, there is no out, uh, there is no done. You keep doing this, you never do anything again. It's permanent, kaput. And it's kaput. You don't mean it. If that's the way it's gotta be. You have a choice. You haven't listened to a word I've said. I've been listening. I've been listening all morning. I've been listening to you talk about being sad and lonely and refusing to listen to reason. I have my reasons. Don't throw my guns like that, bro. Good, but they're mine. Walk me to my car. I should have shot his. I should have shot him. Next time you throw my shotgun like that, bro. I should have shot his. Yeah, peace out, homie. Get the hell out of my uh, my house, bro. So, 
This is it then. It See is. you, bro. Right. See you, bro. Why are you doing this? Because I'm not I'm rocking with your. We're friends, goddammit. You don't get to get all stoic on me. I know losing her was hard, but there's got to be something. Got to be. I can't take care of the farm like I used to. And there isn't much point anymore. So That's so reasonable. Far. Move into the city. Meet someone new. Do you believe in hell? Huh? Do you believe in hell? I'm not scared of hell, if that's what you mean. I didn't ask if you were scared. I asked if you believe. I don't know. Well, I do. And I think... I think doing this... I think that's where I'm headed. And okay. why? You think you can buy your way into heaven? I can't take back what I've done. Mm -hmm. What I can do is do something right. Why? Talk to him. Because I want to see her again. That's all. I just want to see her again. And I figure I'll do one right thing with my life. Just one thing. Maybe I'll get to see her again. One more time. And this is Word. your own right thing. It don't, wouldn't you, it what? Is. What? Don't that make sense? I'm feeding dead bodies to my pigs in a farm. And you don't think stopping this the right, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna bring it from back here. How do you know? How do you know if any of this is true? I don't, I don't know. But I got the notion. And the notion's got me. So, the least I can do is uh, tell you adios. Ah, he said it. He said it. You know the name of the the name of the the title. You get it. Adios, deuces, peace, sayonara, arrivederci, aloha, peace out, my nigga. I'll be back this evening. You get an afternoon. Do whatever you gotta do. What? Just uh, leave the door unlocked. I can do that. I huh? Friend to be seeing ya. We just gonna let him come back and clap us? Oh nah, bro. Oh nah, bro. Oh nah, bro. You ain't going out like that. I'm gonna have a shotgun ready. Watch. Okay, we in the crib -o. Okay, what we doing, gang? That's downstairs. I was talking smack about this house. This house kind of nice. I know you let Sadie run the house, bro. What I got to do? Check on the horse, catch the fish, call the boy, call the neighbor. All right, let's, what, what was that? Chair, we straight. What do I do first? I don't know. Is all this outside? I'm going to just look around the house. Why am I jumping in this game and crouching? I could sprint, run, jump, and crouch. I feel like it's gonna be a fight, bro. No. I feel like I ain't gonna go out no, no sucker, bro. Let me just hey, yeah. Why in the world? I mean, I, I commend this man. Straight up, straight up. Now that I got a chance to talk, because I'm just not really doing anything. I commend homeboy for even I'm gonna do that last. I'm gonna do that last. Um, what was I finna say? I could. Uh, <laughs> he got that nigga got. We ain't going out without a fight. All right. I was gonna say. Um, I commend him for doing the right thing and not wanting to do this no more. Obviously, my man is fed up with with being a part of this lifestyle. I wouldn't want to be. I wouldn't want to be doing that either. Uh, he obviously old, you know. What's up, horsey? He's sliding here. Oh, I say, gonna... come on, come on, that's a good boy. You want some more apples, my boy? Run you your apple. apple, Granny Smith, Smith, just like you like. Good that's, boy. that's good boy. Th that's you not a Granny really Smith. Good to me, you know that. That's not mm -hmm. a. Brought me a lot of good luck. 
Good times. Without you, I don't, uh, yeah, I do not know. I want really? to thank you. I want to thank you for all you done. Gonna go ahead and leave the barn door open behind me when I go. You want to leave, you go find someone else. I figure I'll just, uh, I'll leave you to it. So this, this story kind of crazy, like, catch the fish. Where the fish at? So, I'd love to tell you a fishing story, but funny, funny thing is, I ain't never fished a damn day in my life. I've fished more in Red Dead Redemption, in Red Dead Redemption 2, than I have, oh, oh okay, okay, come here, come here, and then in actual <laughs> real life. That ain't him, man. Catch Admiral, maybe the next bite. Yo, I'm gonna just throw a dumb hard. Can we like, so like I said, I fished more in Red Dead Redemption 2 than I have in real life. I've never gone fishing in my life. Listen, here's my theory with the water. I love the water. I love taking showers. I love drinking water. I love drinking water. I love uh, going in pools, going to the beach. I love all that. I do not mess with the living organisms that habitat the ocean or the waters, okay? We are in their home when we get in there. Oh, bring your ass, bring your ass. So I like to keep my hands on the ground. That's the same. Yo, it's in here somewhere. Who in the hell is the Admiral, bro? Bring your ass, boy. Must be a big ass fish or something. So yeah, I would give you a fish story, but um, I mean, while we're here, let's talk about the channel, huh? Why not? Um, so I've been slacking the last few months, last couple months. I know I've been saying, yo, I'm oh, I'm gonna give you more content, but yes, content is definitely on the way, bro. Oh, don't do that. What if that was it, bro? What if that was actually it? But yeah, more content on the way. Um, I'm looking right here. I got a list of games, bro. I would say all of them. I got a list of games coming. Trust. I'm gonna get the edit game right. I, you know, I edit all the stuff. You see everything you see on the channel, on all the different platforms. It's just me. It's just your boy, and ain't nobody else. So, like I said, man, tons of games coming. I'm gonna try to entertain y'all as much as I can. I don't want to mess up the tension. But like I said, lots more stuff coming on the way. I'm trying to get y'all with at least one video a week. That's the goal. One Come video on. a week. If I can't make that happen, then one video every other week. But I'm not trying to leave y'all without videos for months. Y'all feel me? So just bear with me, my bros. Let's catch. Oh, my God. This dude is huge. Okay. You can't even see his face. Okay. Call the boy. Right, let's go to the crib. We got to make some phone calls. Damn, where is the crib? Where the hell am I? I just realized that I'm dumb for her. Where am I walking, bro? So they said this game is... Oh, is it, oh I thought it was going to fit away. They pretty much said this game's a walking simulator. So different change of pace for us. You know, we usually playing something crazy, like Little Nightmares or Stray. But this one right here, um, I like this little change of pace. I like the story we're being told. So let's, let's talk about it, right? He wants out. He don't want to feed pigs to the mob no more. Mob said, okay... Blood in, blood out. You don't wanna, you don't wanna deal with the with the with the disposing of bodies with the pigs. You gotta go. I mean, I get it because 
They got a tie of loose ends. If you're going to snitch, I'm gonna have to, we're going to have to off you, feed you to the fishes. Or, I guess in this case, feed you to the pigs. So, I get it. We've got to make a few phone calls. We, we, we went around with Homeboy. I don't even know why Homeboy stuck around. Like, you could have left, bro. But I guess he was sitting there trying to convince me. But, bro, I, I didn't need that convincing, my guy. Where the phone at? Man, this living room is depressing. You need to put a TV in here or something. Can I play some music? Whoa. Whoa. That it? You see me on the keys, man. Let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. I'll take the achievement, though. Where is my phone, bro? Call the boy. Call the neighbor. Where's my phone? You freaking haters. In the kitchen? Okay, there it is. Here it is. Mr. Telephone Man. Do I gotta like look? That's the boy. Come on, come on, come on, pick up. Please Please pick up. Dad? Bill. Ah. Uh, well, now how'd you know it was me? I, I don't know what that is. It's new. 92? Tells me who's calling. Huh, that's, uh, that's some real fancy stuff you got there. Uh-huh. Listen, I'm busy. Why are you calling? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, man. Tell you should have told the truth, oh, bro. Uh, just, uh, hadn't talked in a while. And whose fault is that? Hmm. I never should have let her go. What happened? I... Can't we huh? just... Can't we talk? What is there to say? Hi, son. How are the grandkids? Well, how are they? Oh, by the way, I put your mom in a rest home so I could stay there and take care of my goats and my pigs and my stupid horse because, God forbid, I actually look after my sick wife. That's not fair. You put her in a home. You decided she wasn't good enough for you, and you put her in a home. Bro. She was getting forgetful if they found out. They, she was getting forgetful. So she was getting Alzheimer's. If they found out. If who found out? If the mob found mm. out? I, no, I, I didn't know what to do. The doctors there, they would. How hard could it be? Alzheimer's isn't some Alzheimer's? terrifying yeah. cookie, man. It wasn't it you who told me to stay with the ones you love, no matter what? So, what? You didn't love her anymore? Oh. She was scared of me, Bill. She couldn't remember who I was. And one day she woke up and she looked at me and she screamed. And she screamed and screamed and cried and I hmm. didn't. Oh, snap. Bro. Don't you dare. You gave her up. You gave her up to doctors and nurses. You know what they do to people in homes. Oh. What else could I have done? What else? I took care of her hmm. until I couldn't no more. I tried to find her the best. Yo, this is crazy. It was the best home money could buy. Money. You and your damn money. Cared more about being a rich pig farmer than the people you were supposed to love. Eee. How do you think I made all that money, Bill? No such thing as a rich pig farmer, at least not in the me. Hmm. Oof. Oof. Hey. I loved you both. I did everything for you, everything. Yeah, right. Bill, I, I didn't want this call to... You wanted to put my mom in a home. So I'm not sure what you want matters. B mm. Bill, Bill, I just, I just called to say... Say what? Sorry? You know I visited her. I found out where you put her, and I visited her. This is getting uncomfortable. Like I, this, this is this is awkward. It's not cringe. This is getting awkward. Like I shouldn't hear this conversation. Please don't say she talked. They're listening. Hmm. Uh, they said you visited sometimes. She was my wife, Bill. She cried, Dad. She cried. She wept and she sobbed and she kept asking me where you were. She was so scared, Dad. She was so scared. She wanted you to take her home. The doctor 
said sometimes she was lucid, but I couldn't. She was lucid, Dad. And I held her hand as she sobbed herself to sleep. And I kept holding her hand until they told me I had to go. Where were you? Taking care of your precious chestnuts? This is crazy. Feeding your heritage breed pigs. I hate this Bill, voice. Bill, I... Say, talk to your goats or your pigs or whatever it is you do. If I could tell you, if only I could mm. tell you, I love you, Bill. I love you more than I can ever say. Mm. I just wanted to tell you goodbye, Bill. Oh man, he gonna take it in the wrong way. You know he is. This is this this is. Oof. I just wanted, wanted to, to tell you goodbye, goodbye Bill. Bill. I've got some of your stuff all boxed up. If you wouldn't mind coming by in a few days to pick it up. We'll see. Goodbye, son. You'll never make this right, Dad. I'm still trying. Oh, God damn. Um, oh. That was tough, bro. I like the cord... Core going crazy. Okay, my fault, my fault. Oh. Why am I jumping? This is crazy. Hello? Hey, Edie. It's Oh, hey, Edie. hey, you. How you doing? You know, I was just talking about you with Garth the other day. I said, Garth, you know we ought to visit. Yeah, well, Edie, listen, uh, I don't mean to interrupt. It's just uh, it's getting dark. Uh, I'm on a tight schedule, and... Uh, uh, I need you to do me a favor, right? A favor? Sure. What you need? Uh, I'm going to be out of town for a few days. Oh? Finally taking my advice and visiting family? Hmm. I won't be coming back. Can you take care of the animals? I was uh, wondering if you and Garth could make sure the animals were fed and watered. You know, that kind of thing. Oh, sure, sure. We ain't got much going on. Thanks, Edie. Listen, uh, I, uh... uh Evan! Evan! What are you doing? Get down from there. Sorry. Cats. <laughs> anyway, what were you saying? Uh, goodbye. I was saying goodbye. Would you mind taking care of the animals? Yeah, yeah, yeah the animals. Uh, I got them fed and watered for today. They should be good for tomorrow, too. But, but if it's too much of an imposition... Not at all. Not at all. We're happy to be imposed upon. You've been a good neighbor for so long. I'm glad you called me today. In fact, just the other day, I said to Garth, I said, if we don't visit, then we should host. Thank you, Edie. We, hey, you should drop on by next Saturday afternoon. We're going out to the Harvest Festival with the grandkids. And I know how lonely it's been, what with Sadie gone and all. You should come with us. Oh, I appreciate the thought, Edie. I don't think I'll be back in town by then, though. Sorry. Mm. Oh, that's too bad. I don't think so either, bro. It's been real nice seeing you coming back to church again. Oh, it's, uh... It's been real nice being welcomed back. But now I gotta go. You know, chores and such. You know how it is. Oh, I sure do. Well, come on over sometime. Just got some gooseberries in. We're making pies, and we'd love to have you. It's not, they're your it's not. favorite. <laughs> that they are. Gotta go now. I think that's it now. Ooh, I got the tingly feeling back here. The dog. Oh. Hey, Brody. How Brody you was a dog. <sighs> this is gonna hit different because I haven't had a chance to say it on the channel. Um, it's crazy because this dog's name's Brody. Um, as, if y'all been with the channel for a minute, I think this is year three now. Um, y'all have seen sometimes or heard me talking to my dog, Brady. Um, Brady passed away this past year in 2022. He had some kind of, um, some kind of tumor they told us. And he was just getting sick and sick more sick and we couldn't afford to take care of the things that had him sick 
so we unfortunately had to put him down so r.i.p up in the chat in the comment section if you've made it this far in the video i love you for even being here and this is where you start to hear the real shit. so if if you're, you're you're this far into the video let me just let me know by putting it in the comments r.i.p brady bro he was only six years old this suck man but now we got a new dog we just got him like a month ago his name's izzy I'm gonna pop pictures of all these, both of these dogs. His name's Izzy. He's three months old and he's a big boy already. It's gonna be a lot of fun raising that little man too. So, man, this sucks. This part's gonna suck for me. I know I don't drop by as much as I ought. I ain't got an excuse. I still remember when I picked you up. Bill hadn't been himself lately, and I wanted him to. I don't know, I wanted him to smile again. Oh, he saw you and I could see that spark in his eyes. The boy was still mad at me, though. And I guess he had a right to be. But you, you he loved. And I think he came around on me, too, for a time. Good boy. Good boy. You want to know something, bro? I always, I always believe dogs go to heaven because all dogs are fundamentally good. Now, even the mean ones, they're good too. They're just, you know, hurt or starving or you know, sick, or scared. So uh, I know it's where crazy. you are. And I know Sadie's probably with you right now. I've done Max. wrong, Brody. I've done a lot of wrong. And I don't know if I can make up for it. I want to tell you I'll see you soon, but the truth is I do not know. Well, I don't know if I'm religious. Good well, he just went back into religion, so we'll see. Or her. I don't know if we'll I did see. my best. I don't think we'll be that far, so, that far uh, again. Uh, this may be goodbye. I'm, And I miss you all the same. That's how I feel about you, Brady. All right, B, my boy. Okay. This has got to be it right here, bro. This has got to... Get the shotgun from the cellar. Cook a meal. The end, is said. Get the shotgun from the cellar. You already know the vibes. You already know what I'm about, boy. Give me that. That's a rifle. Oh, come here, nigga. Place a shotgun on the timing hole, oh, bro. Bro, I'm gonna clap on boy. I'm a clap on boy, bro. Dining room table setting, bro. I'm a clap. I'm a he walked through this door. Bang! That's how it's gonna be, bro. You gonna come through this door? I'm gonna boom him. Boom! Watch. Watch. Wow, yeah. Two in the chamber, my. You best believe I'm gonna bust your sh. Ish. What we cooking, nigga? What we got? Nigga, what? 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 We got we got peas. Not even frozen. What's in the potatoes? What's that? Oh, sauces. Hey, maybe he'll eat with me. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Didn't he say he don't like spicy stuff, bro? Hey, we gonna see. What's in the bag? Oh, sh oh, okay, 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 okay. That's that's the goat, the goat meat. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Steak cook, okay. Curry steak. Steak cooks in the pan. Put it all in the pot. Start the kitchen timer. Oh man, I'm really gonna have to cook right now. Curry steak. Let's get some steak. Chop. My nigga, I just dropped the day. Bro, this is a simulator for real. Haya, haya. Oh, it was this one. Okay, cook it. Okay, pick up the knife, gangy. Bro, put the knife. You good? Is it cooked? Oh. Um. 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 Steak cooked. Potato microwave peas. Steak cooks in the pan. Oh, we gotta put it in the pot. Okay, 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 okay. I got you. I got you. Got you. Curry steak chop cook stock curry powder. Potato microwave in the microwave in a 
in the microwave? Golly, bro. Okay. Curry powder. Is that it right here? That's corn. Okay, bro. I'm going to put it in the pot. Okay. More potatoes. I hope I'm doing this right. This is like the most action I've done in the game. Do the damn thing. What's this? Cornies says cereal. Okay, what are we doing, gang? That's chicken stock. Okay, I'm going to put it in the microwave. Okay, I'll put it back in the pot. Put it in the pot. I feel like I'm making a stew or something. Uh, look at me with the fridge all open. You know what's funny? I be doing this in the crib when I be cooking too. I be leaving the fridge all open. Wifey be on my case. <laughs> it's crazy. Oh, potato chop two. Oh, damn. What am I doing? Uh, can I take it out? It says put all in the pot. Steak cooks in a... Oh, I blew it. I blew it. It's either I make a curry or a stew. Um, okay, let's do the peas. What do I do with the peas? In the pot? Bro, I think I'm I think I'm messing this all up. Start the kitchen timer. Sure. I guess I made steak. Ugh. Microwave potato. Place the meal on a dining room table setting. Dining room table. That, that's what I'm eating? Sit down at the table. I can't sit right here. What is that? Oh! Ew. I made that? I hear him, bro. It's mad at him. Brother Shotty. Got a shotgun, bro. Oh! Oh! Oh, he ain't even me. Bro. He ain't even give me a chance to even. Why I put the shot? Um, could I have used a shotgun, bro? I'm kind of tight right now. Like, I mean, this game was cool. Don't get me wrong. Just like a cool little hour, cool little story to go through and all that. But, bro, I wanted to bang. I thought I was going to body old boy. He just came in there. Pew. My man pew pewed me real quick. Not even pew pew, bro. It wasn't a pew pew. It was a little pew. And I was gone. Can I skip this, bro? Adios, bro. Was that it? Was that like the only ending? I gotta see. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, okay. Listen, the name of the game was Adios. This was a different one. We don't really play games like this on the channel, but this is what I'm trying to tell you. I'm gonna try and pop out more content for you. If y'all find this one entertaining, slap a like on this bad boy, comment it up. While you down there, hit that subscribe button. If y'all watch this on the bowl, on the phone, like this, and you were sitting there watching the game, watching the game, watching me play, then um, hit the subscribe button right now. Make sure you like while you down there. And of course, if y'all got this far, y'all better have commented RIP Brady by now, okay? RIP to the man. I like this game. It wasn't anything crazy. It wasn't like, um, you know, it wasn't anything wild or anything like that. I was shocked, though. The end shocked me. I know he said he was coming back, leave the door open. But I'm like, why you leave a shotgun there? Like, load the shotgun. And what if I loaded the shotgun before? Can I? There's, like, nothing I can do? I ain't cooking again, bro. I ain't cooking again, bro. This shit was white. I ain't cooking again. All right. With all that being said, man, I appreciate every time y'all pull up. Every time y'all leave any kind of comments, y'all like while y'all down there, y'all hitting the subscription button. I appreciate all the love, man. And with that being said, even though I said with that being said, with that being said, I will catch y'all in the next one. And guess what? Y'all probably gonna catch me in the same clothes. All right? So that shows you I'm working. All right, homies? All right. With that being said...
I love each and every one of y'all. Get ready for the peace sign. I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace, peace, peace. I can't believe he just sat there and got popped, bro. Like, what are you doing, gang? You wildin'. You wildin', bro.